My name is John Grehan. I'm a cardiothoracic surgeon at United Hospital in St. Paul, Minnesota. I've been in practice for seven years. I completed my training in cardiothoracic surgery at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor and practiced for two years initially right after training in Toledo, Ohio. Since completing my cardiothoracic surgery training in 2006, I've performed approximately 1,000 open heart surgeries and of those, 60% of them have been valve related, so 600 valve operations. I was fortunate enough to have been exposed to cardiac surgery very early on in my academic career. Once I was exposed, it was something that I felt that I, I just had to do. It's important for me to really get to know my patients and to make sure that they understand, number one, what is wrong with them, and number two, how it can be repaired and what they can expect both during the time of the procedure and afterwards and then you know, moving forward with the rest of their life. Um, it's particularly important for them to understand the, the impact that their disease is gonna have four, five, six, 20 years down the road um, and what the different techniques of fixing their problem may entail for them. Well, the traditional approach to valve surgery has been through a median sternotomy. With the advent of new technologies and new in instrumentations now, we're trying to minimize the invasiveness of each and every operation that we do. I have incorporated into my practice several different minimally invasive approaches to valve surgery, one of which is a limited sternotomy, uh, which works at the upper part of the breastbone, used mostly for aortic valvular disease. Um, a second a type of minimally invasive surgery is, is done through limited thoracotomies. And for aortic valvular disease, that incision is in the right side of the chest and the upper part of the chest. And for mitral valve disease, it's just moved a little bit lower and towards the back. The benefits of minimally invasive techniques allow for a shorter hospitalization, less pain, the less utilization of blood and blood product, and ultimately a, a faster, full recovery from the operation. The advice that I give patients who've been diagnosed with heart valve problems is that they really need to understand what is wrong with their heart. It's, it's their heart and they need to know moving forward physiologically what may happen to them and what types of corrections may be available to them. I think that's very important in contemporary cardiac surgery. Um, I've instituted a very team-like approach at my facility where multiple specialties are involved that are dedicated to cardiac surgical patients.